How's it going, Scrub Gamers? Welcome back to another video and another episode of Previously in DBS, where I go over the week's news in one uh, juicy nugget of a video. So that way, rather than have to look for different bits to find out all the news from the week, you have it in one, you have it in one healthy dose. Um, so this week, it's not much of a spoiler, it's uh, only a few bits, like, because um, Dragon Ball Super card game on the page, they released a, when well, they released a few first reveals this week for the Star Decks. They released a roadmap of how they're going to spoil the decks. Uh, well, not, not just the decks, but all the spoils from um, the next set, set 14. And with that, uh, they said they're going to kick it off today when they get some videos from content creators and stuff and daily Facebook updates. And for a week just for a week just gone. So, and also, sorry, this is coming up late. Um, had a big weekend of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was like, nice Yu-Gi-Oh! DBS playing um, in the Newport Regional, which I'll do a breakdown at some point. Uh, this week, the cover, once I get the, uh, cause I'm gonna get the information about it, to give you a full breakdown of it. It's quite a big one, and it's quite fun as well. And then I had the web, uh, the LTP four-star ball event as well, um, yesterday. So, um, this unfortunately slipped through, but I'm get, trying to get out as quick as possible, and luckily there's not much, uh, there's not too much to go over, this is not a big video. Uh, so as Ben I said, uh, they had a roadmap, and from this, from last week, uh, it was the star decks, and then uh, showing off through it, and we had a super uh, super players as well, which I'll put a link to their video doing the um, uh, battle using them and unboxing. So I'll put both links there if you want to go and check it out, see all that. And then then after that, they're doing previews. So from this week, we're getting previews on the blue and black cards, which I'm really excited for because the black has Seno Shadow Dragons in, which looks like a mill deck, which is my favorite kind of uh, way to play. And blue also has Harugan, which is a pretty cool. I like the Uh Not so much like I liked it, but not so much back in the um, when it was Storm. But then when we got the green stuff as well, it was quite interesting. Then the next week after that, we're getting um, yellow, and then one secret rare reveal because I know the secret rare reveal they said are on the July fifth, July twelfth, and July nineteenth, which is during the f next three weeks of um, reveals. So the week at, week next week we'll be getting yellow reveals plus one secret rare reveal. And after that, we're getting green and mottled colored and a never reveal and a uh, secret rare reveal. And then after that, and then at the end of that week, we're getting, I think it's on the Saturday, I think we're getting um, the ban list, ban Aratan limited list, because it's on the 17th of July. They said they're going to do a um, wide ranging ban limited in Aratan list. So hopefully, people are expecting that to be a lot of fake problems in the game at the moment or problems in the meta. Being removed, like a lot of people are going back. Vegex being banned, Mecha Freeze being banned, Dark Brody being here in some way, which are all good points because um, they are very strong decks. And some of them, like Mecha Freezer, make it really not worth playing every other deck because of itself. Like maybe exception is Aggro Sin, just like how um with Black is like Vegex or Dark Brody is the best way, best Black decks to play. Um, and if you're not playing Dark Brody, Vegex is a good alternative. Like Aggro Sin is to Mecha Freezer. And then the last week of reveals is the red one, so uh, that's what I know, that's what some people are looking forward to because, well I'm looking forward to it because of Jiren, uh, new, new Jiren leader and stuff, well, hopefully it's new Jiren leader, the new Universe 11 stuff, and also uh, a U7 Gohan, red uh, adult Gohan um, lead as well. Uh, so with this week, we, uh, well last week we got the Star Deck reveals, and we'll go over those, so... There were two star decks. Uh, there was the red one with Vegeta, as shown in my previous um, spoiler, go over the trailer, uh, the stuff that's shown in the trailer, and also a reboot of the Mast uh, Saiyan the star deck we had like um, years ago, or well, ages ago. So with the first one, we got the Vegeta. So we finally got the um, effects on the cards. So we got Vegeta, who again flips over into SSB Vegeta Spirit Boost Elite. So on the front side, he's got an auto when it attacks, draw a card and it gets 5,000 power for the turn, so that's pretty cool. So it means even if your, um, your opponent's awakened, you're still putting it on the pressure. And it's got a very good awaken as well, which is like a guaranteed turn to awaken, in which if your life is at 4 or less, or if you have a red unison card with a specified cost of 2 in play, which the side it comes with, and one of the best uh, red unisons in the game at the moment is the Piccolo from set 11. Uh, Piccolo Junior one, sorry. You may switch up to two, and the effect, rest of the effect is you may switch up the two energy, two active mode. Uh, so you up two. Add cards from your life until you have five on life left, just like King Vegeta. And then also, if you're using the Kaba unison as it, 
uh, as your unison of choice. You choose up to one of your red unison cards with Cabin, its name, and add a mark to it, and then flip this card over. So essentially, you get take uh, turn two, you play a unison, you untap two, you take down to five life if you haven't taken any damage, which most likely you've taken one attack, unless you're against Red X. Um, and if you've got the Cabal, you, it, it becomes it gets a marker. So on your turn two, you get a four marker unison if you're playing the Cabal one. You have five life, you've got two NG on tap still for defense or to pl put more pressure on, and you're awakened. And then as well as well as playing more pressure, the awakened side is got two has got two of those. First one is when it attacks, you draw a card like the front. And then you choose one of your red unison cards with no with a specified cost of two and no keyword skills and against double strike for the turn. Now I have had the question that I remember someone mentioned was uh how would it be able to give Kaba the double strike? Because Kaba has the uh limit one skill in its uh first in its auto. Um and I'm not sure if that counts as a keyword skill in the card being part of a an alt the auto skill. Uh so I'm gonna wait until so I have no idea about that. I'm gonna wait until Bandai actually release anything properly about that. Could be that it's not actually part and not actually a keyword skill on it, but it could be because I know Bond is a red um, red one as well on auto skills, and that um, allows you to get past uh, the old uh, TOP Freezer, the seven drop one, because it's a keyword skill auto. I remember that. Uh, so I'm not sure how that how, how it's gonna work. Just wait for Bandai to get their uh, Q and A stuff. Once the fit uh, set and the side decks finally drop, and then the ever auto is once per turn Spirit Boost one. So you got to remove a marker from your skill to activate the effect. Uh, sorry, yeah, a marker from your unison to activate the effect. So when your opponent attacks your red unison card with a specified cost of two, you only get the attack. Then choose up to one of your unison cards and you get six thousand power for the turn. So that's pretty cool. Just like sacrificing one marker. Um, they make your unison an extra 6k, making it harder to attack attack into. Because normally when it's 15, when it's just 15, it's quite easy to attack into. But at least you power up by that, at least by 6 uh, 6k. It means it's safe in 20k attack swings, and you have to come. That means you have to put a lot of investment to just kill, uh, get with your unison. In with the unison, it ties pretty well with the lead. It's got the auto limit one of um, you can only activate that skill on copies of your unison. Uh, or, or you can only activate skills uh, skills once per turn or copies of this card. Uh, when this card is placed and you drop everything, you use an area. Choose up to one of your mono red leader cards and it gains five thousand power for the turn. So it's like a bean if they kill you if they kill the unison before going for the leader, which is pretty cool. Uh, so if they take out if you have this on board and they take out take it out. Your leader gets a boost for the turn, which makes it, which if they're not trying to kill you, which then adds the amount of stuff you can make, you can uh, have in red to make it hard to kill you. Then it's got two max skills plus one, which is activate main. If you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards or unison cards, it gets minus 10,000 power for the turn. And that's really good that it hits the unison cards. So it made, it's an even even more stuff in red to like make the meager unison uh, less valuable because. Uh, the whole point of Demigra is it comes down for one, and if it takes if it takes uh, damage from an attack, it can take a life instead of removing a marker. So it means that the freezer's live turn one because it just goes down for one edge. You get to one marker plus it's one, and it's got two markers. Unless you've got a way to remove markers without attacking, is um it means freezer's live, so it hinders anything you play seven across or less at any point. But this allows you to target it minus it by seven ten uh, k, so uh, being a five k base. It's going to lose a marker, so it makes it less uh, less valuable than it used to be. Now with that, and also just minus in 10k on something. It doesn't get for barrier, but still minus in 10k on something. It's pretty pretty cool. Like you could have this. You can technically have this in the um, King Vegeta deck to have something to minus on your turn. But I think still think Jiren's better. And then the last auto, which it's not great in my opinion, uh, it's minus six. Also, if your opponent's life is a three or more. When your mono red saying leader card is attacked, deal one damage to your opponent. So you're minusing, you have to get the six markers and minus six just to uh, burn a life. And it's not, it's, it's got a restriction of being at three or more. So unfortunately, it's not putting the pressure on your opponent to, if they attack, they have to lose a mark. They're, they're going to get burned to death. Uh, but still, it's pretty decent. The, the first auto limit one is pretty decent to uh, give your leader a bean if they take out unison before going for your lead. And then the activate main is pretty good. 
Uh, and then for the exclusives from the starter deck, we've got uh, three pretty decent ones. The best one out of them, in my opinion, is the surprise attacks on Gohan, which is a 4 cost 20k, 5k combo, 5, 0 5k combo battle card. Um, it's got an activate battle for one red. If you have two or more mono red cards in your combo area, play this card from your hand, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and it gets minus 10,000 power for the turn. So keeping in theme with the with what red normally does, which is power reduction. And um, yeah, is a uh, all you need is two combo cards. And good things there's mono red because otherwise if you can use multicolor things and have a uh, like a Beerus as one to untap an energy, so you've got that for nothing, would be a pretty busted. But yeah, and it, it makes it makes more use of the um the super combos we got in set eleven, which was the ones that are five uh five k uh super combos. But when you combo with them, you can choose another uh, card in your combo or to give it six thousand combo power for the for the for the battle. Um, so you can use those together with it to kind of get more combo, even a bit more combo power with it, and then do it and then play this. But yeah, having having the chance to just uh, have like a mini cooler uh, in your deck in red in mono red at any point is pretty cool. Doesn't go for barrier, but still. Uh, beyond that, certainly can help for one energy to minus uh, paying one energy to minus your opponent's battle card by 10k and then have a 5k combo is a 15k difference, which is pretty cool. And then we got Son Goku Spirit Boost Warrior, which is a four cost uh, 20k, zero 5k combo. It has Deflect, Double Strike, and Dual Attack, so pretty good uh, for four cost, but it doesn't really have any way to cheat it out. Um, but it does have a permanent where if this card is in rest mode and you have a red unison card with a specified cost of 2 in play, this card and your red leader get 1,000 uh, 1, power for the turn. Uh, 1,000 power. Not for the turn, just 1,000 power. Now this is pretty cool because if you, uh, it, while it does cost 4 to play, which is quite, uh, quite a lot and doesn't have barrier, it does have deflect, meaning it can't be uh, stopped by countering, but then uh, in green and freeze it can always, always hit it. Um, and um, what's in rest, because you're going to attack with it twice to put it in rest, and it makes it so what's on the board, your opponent can't just swing at your leader with a 15k and just go, yeah, there you go, Defend combo off for the damage, is an extra 100,000 power, which means that he's got combo one card to, uh, to force you to combo a card as well and rotate damage. Then it has an altar, which has got both the new skills, limit one, where you can only activate the skill, uh, the, that's this skill on copies of the card once per turn across all copies of the card. So once you use it on this card, you can't use it on another copy of the card that turn. And Spirit Boost when you need to remove a marker from your unison to trigger the skill. Um, it's uh, when this card is placed in the drop area from your battle area by opponent's skill or KO to play this card from your drop area. So it means it's got essentially revive without having revive, without the discard cost. You just got to remove a marker from your unison, which is pretty cool. And lastly, we got Surprise Attack SSB Vegeta. 4 cost 15k with a 1, one, one cost 10k combo power. It's unique and critical. And it's also is if your opponent has 2 or more energy, when you remove a marker for one of your red unison cards using a spirit boost skill, you may play this card from your hand. Yeah, there you go. So if you use a spirit boost skill, which uh, is going to be a theme in the next set, you can play this from your hand for free. As long as, you don't, as, long as your opponent has 2 more energy and you don't have another one on board. It's pretty cool, given if it also 3. 15k critical just by using a skill and remove a marker from your um well, spirit boost skill, which is pretty nice. So that's it for the exclusives from the starter deck. Uh, as you, as I said, you can go through the unboxing in the Super Players channel uh, video down below to see the rest the rest of the um cards that coming in like the reprints and stuff like that. But then for the other one, we as I said, it was the Mass Saiyan reboot leader. So we got the gold skills now, and it looks pretty interesting. Uh, it's a nice reboot to bring it up to speed. For the current meta, um, from what the users and they kept it similar to how it used to be, but made it so it's more in line with the effects we see nowadays. So on the front side, it's got an activate main once per turn burst free. So that means you, uh, if if you are new and you can, uh, don't know what burst free is, it means you got uh, the trick play the skill. The cost is to put the top three cards of your deck in your drop area. So you add up to one card from your left to your hand. If a black card is placed in your drop area by the skill, it gains critical for the turn. If a non-black card is placed in your drop area by a skill, this card gains 5,000 power for the turn. Then it's got the Awaken on the middle ground of when your life is at 4 or less, you may draw 1 and untap an energy and flip this card over. 
So it's got the same kind of on the front side. It's got the same kind of skill as the old one, but you can take a life. So it's got self awakening built in, unlike the old one didn't have self awakening built in. Um, and it's got the same thing of it gains crit or at crit. It can gain both crit and five k potentially, and then it's got the knife in between awakening to give you at least one energy in a draw. Then on its front side, it's got an auto. This card gain uh, when this card attacks, draw a card, which is standard for most leaders. And also, it's not once per turn, which we're gonna, which is gonna matter when we go to the next auto, which is a once per turn. Add one card from your life to your hand. When you remove a marker from one of your black unison cards using a spirit boost skill, switch this card to active mode and negate its keyword skills for the turn. Uh, so that means, like, if you use uh, any, so that's pretty cool in the fact that if you use any spirit boost skill, like I know with this, the old leader, um, what people used to do was just use it with Champa, like put a place it a Champa in. So they can, so if they give it crit off the effect, they can swing, uh, combo with Champa, give it 10k combo power, and then give it, give the leader double strike, so they get double strike crit, they put a lot of pressure in that way. And then also when the uh, Supreme Kai, East, East Supreme Kai came out, they had that in, so they had eight copies of Champa. Um, I imagine that's the same thing people are gonna do with this one. And the nice thing is you can do it on the first swing, and then if you use a spirit boost uh, skill, you can take a life switch to active mode. It loses double strike and it can't gain triple strike again for the rest of the turn. But you still get another swing at just just and get a draw from which is pretty cool. So you get essentially two two cards from that last swing you should take in a life and then draw the card when you swing. And also activate uh, it's got an activate main of once per turn, so let the front the front side burst free if the, if the if a card if a black card is placed in your drop area by the skill, this card gains critical for the turn. Is a non-black card is placing your drop area by skill. This gains five thousand power, so it's pretty cool, especially with the second auto. If you do, if if it's your awakened turn, and you do the front side and put uh, put a non-black card in the drop, and to get five k power, that passes on. So then when it, so then you flip over, then do the activate main again, uh, and if and if you hit both a black card and a non-black card, you then have a twenty-five k crit leader. You swing with it because you've got that untapped uh, energy as well. Combo Champa is 35k double strike crit. And then you can use a spirit boost skill to remove a marker from a unison. And then uh, trigger the air auto to take a life from your stand. It won't have double strike or it won't have crit. But it then be another 25k swing towards your card uh, on the second swing, which is pretty cool. Especially if you put yourself that opponent down to. From three to one, after using that, and they don't get the cards back, you can go into a game quite hard with there. And then the leader gets a like uh, like the other deck with most of the side decks this uh, format with this uh, block. And he gets a unison as well, which is a dark mass king spirit resi uh, re re renaissance. Yeah, renaissance. Um, so it's a no specified cost unison, 5k power. So two autos uh, and one marker skill. So the first auto is if you need a card as a black sand only card. So it can be used with Vegex. Uh, when this card is placed in your drop area from your deck by one of your skills, if you don't have a unison card in play, you may play this card from your drop area with a marker on it. Also once per turn when you and then the other auto is once per turn, when you remove a marker from this card, you need a spirit boost skill. Your opponent chooses one of their battle cards with energy cost of one or send or less and sends it to their drop area owner, uh, owner's warp. So that's pretty cool to, to wipe out Dark Power Black Mass M, but um with a card coming up, uh, that triggers after the card's played, so uh, it wouldn't help, but it's still nice to remove uh, one costs if you use a spirit boost skill. And the fact that it free bases off off of bursting, so you got never as well with the um, Vegex one of the Vegex deck to play with this. And then its marker uh, its marker skill is a plus two like the uh, like the one in the uh, Vegex star deck. And it main if your leader card is a black same card and you choose one card in your hand and discard it, this card gains plus four thousand power for, for the turn for each card in your energy. So this the starting deck does give off a vibe for playing a rainbow deck, which is pretty cool because um, rainbow decks are pretty interesting. Like uh, they give you like they're quite difficult to build and play, but they are an interesting uh, kind of theme. And um, this, this deck looks to be like that, but it does. It looks like it doesn't have any green at all. So you have to add some green. And as I was discussing with a friend of mine, uh, one of my locals, is uh, there's not much you can really put in for green uh, and stay rainbow. Um, 
but it comes that do come that can help with that is the exclusives. Uh, so first we got is a never dark brownie six cost, which is a, um, which is what people don't want to see, uh, especially after we sold the one in the last set, set thirteen. Uh, it was it was complained about quite a bit because for dark brownie getting a lot more support when it didn't really need it. It's got unique like mostly all the dark brownies do, a uh, permanent similar to the seven drop where this card is also treated black in all areas. And it's got an auto and activate main. So the first one, the auto, is when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and it gets minus 15,000 power for the turn. So that's pretty good. I have for Dark Brody, just the minus stuff. Like, uh, that's pretty nice. It gives you another option for the um, uh, play off the ball, and minusing something by 15k. Uh, doesn't get for a barrier, but still, minus 15k also, I think, is quite, um, it's quite good. And then we've got an activate main. Limit one, you can only activate this skill once per turn across all copies of the card. And spirit boost one, meaning you can either must remove a marker from your unison card to activate the skill. And it also costs one energy. If you have three or more energy and you send one red card, one blue card, one green card, and one yellow card from your drop area to your warp, uh, you play this card from your drop drop area or warp and it gets critical for the turn. So this is one thing why I say it helps with the um, rainbow deck. Um, Cause also as well with the, this, so you can play this when you drop um, get 15k for 30, uh, uh, no, sorry, a 30k critical body on the board to swing with, and also trigger the auto to minus 10 by 15k. Uh, so if you find some decent yeah, green cards to put in it, you can play a uh, rainbow deck with the the um, Vegeta Unison we got that uh, helps with rainbow decks, and also that um, Son Goku uh, Strength of a Legend as well, which is is, is a nice, interesting theme. But, uh, it, we'll have to see when it comes out because normally things don't look as great or look amazing um, before it's released and was released is either lackluster if it's amazing if people thought it was amazing or actually really good if people thought it was lackluster uh, but we won't find that out until we get the set and the start of decks and then lastly uh, next one we have is the Mass and Spirit Boost Enigma uh, it's a 5 cost 15k um, 5k 0 cost combo power it's got unique and dual attack and an activate main limit one. So you can only activate it's got limit one and spirit boost one. So just like the time probably, you can only activate that skill once on copies of the cards for the turn. You need to move a marker from your uh, unison and play an energy. And if your leader card is a mass Zen or Barlock Zeno card and you discard this card from your hand, your opponent may choose one card from the life and place it in the bottom of the deck. If they don't, you play this card from your drop barrier. That's pretty good. So if your opponent doesn't want to get um let you have a dual attack, uh 15k dual attacker, they have to bottom deck of life, and if they want to bottom deck of life, you get an extra two swings, which is pretty cool. And then the last one we got is the Black Mass Saiyan Spirit Boost Minion. Uh, a permanent, or if your leader card is a Mass Saiyan or Bark Xeno card, treat this card in your hand as if it had no specified cost, uh, which is quite handy if you're playing Rainbow. And activate main once per turn. Oh, sorry, and it's got an auto once per turn, add one card from your life to your hand. When it's kind of tanked, it gets 11,000 power for the turn, making it 15k. So it's like the um, the soft awakener one drops when it takes a lot when it attacks, it takes a life to be a 15k attacker, but doesn't gain any of our skills. And then the last one we have is activate main once per turn, spirit boost one. We have your marker from this card. So you just got an active mode. So you can get a you can get a one drop dual attacker, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah. So that's the that's the that's the decks. The uh, or exclusives, like they both look interesting. Uh, the red one it seems like the Vegeta seems like a really good uh, generic leader, and Mass Saiyan. I know some people who like the, really like the Mass Saiyan back in uh, when it was first released, so I imagine they might try it again and uh, have fun playing with that. Uh, but yeah, but that's all. So we got the spoiling. So I'm looking forward to this week having the black and blue reveals. Um, comment in the below if you what you're looking forward to with the reveals today, uh, this week. Like uh, if you what which week of reveals you're looking for, looking forward to. So we got this week, um, the black blue. Next week yellow. The week after green and multicolored. And the last week, uh, the week after that, we got the red reveals. Uh, so thank you for watching. So I was sorry I came out a bit late. Uh, busy week. As I said, busy weekend of uh, Dragon Ball. Um, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Um, if to say and stuff like that, uh, it helps me out and lets me know that you're interested and keeps you posted of um if and when my videos drop which is normally aim to be three times a week monday wednesday friday and then with we'll this series on a sunday
Uh, this is late night today. Once again, thank you for watching and enjoy the week of reveals and have a good week. See you in the next one.